Hey, yeah, it's me, Dan, and I'm once again at Kelso Beach Park, which is a beautiful place, and I'm going to talk about the Jurassic. Hola. Buenos dias, señorita. Oh, este día aluvia. Mi cama, tu cama. Yes, I'm talking about the Jurassic again, still, whatever. I was going to make this video outside, but it's a rain day, so I'm making this video from the comfort of my own bed. Oh, yeah. Which I suppose is a wonderful way to do things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. You can hear the rain outside. And I've left the fan up because I'm still hopeful in late September that we might get a few days that are warm enough to require a fan. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Anywho, the Jurassic. Yeah. From 200 million years ago to... 145 million years ago, give or take as much as a half a million years either way, was the Jurassic. 55 million years of pure, unbridled dinosaur heaven, during which some of the most spectacular dinosaurs to ever walk the earth walked the earth. It was an impressive time. And yes, it's also the time when the proto-mammals finally became real mammals. Real mammals appeared during the Jurassic period. Also, the first real birds evolved from theropod dinosaurs. Yeah. Mm. But you will never find a Tyrannosaurus rex in a Jurassic deposit because the dominant carnivore in the Jurassic was the Allosaurus. The Allosaurs dominated dinosaur carnivory. And they would dominate until pretty much the end of the Cretaceous. But that's another story for another time. Yeah. In the meantime, let's focus on the Jurassic, shall we? Yeah. Hmm. And morning tea. Before we went any further, I just wanted to share with you these socks that were made for me by a very, very lovely lady friend who uh, knits socks and reads lots of books and watches David Attenborough nature specials and is a very cool individual. Anywho, Thank you, Sheila. Okay. Yeah. So, back to the Jurassic. Yeah. Jurassic is defined as the beginning of the age of the dinosaurs as dominant group. Prior to this, in the Triassic, dinosaurs shared the Earth on a fairly even footing with other archosaurs and with proto-mammals. But in the Jurassic, the dinosaurs shot ahead and became the dominant population, the dominant group of species. They became the big shots that run everything. So the other archosaurs were relegated to a more peripheral role in the swamps for the most part. And at the same time, proto-mammals were forced into the forests where, <coughs> ah, where they became true mammals, largely as a result of selective pressure imposed on them by the dinosaurs. So yes, it is safe to say dinosaurs invented mammals. Funny how mammals would later take over after the Cretaceous disaster. 
but in the Jurassic period, selective pressures imposed by dinosaurs forced proto-mammals to evolve into true mammals. Progress. Progress, there you go. Progress happened. At the same time, dinosaurs themselves gave rise to one population of dinosaurs that we call birds, which are the only surviving dinosaur group remaining in the world today. Birds. So, yeah, you don't see it today, but yes, birds, again, are dinosaurs. Something to be remembered. Yes, something to be remembered. The dinosaurs of the Jurassic were not the popular dinosaurs of the Cretaceous period, the Tyrannosaurus and the Triceratops. Those wouldn't come until the late Cretaceous. But in the Jurassic, you had the sauropods, the big, big, big sauropods becoming truly dominant on land, and their biggest carnivores were the Allosaurs, represented by Allosaurus. Also, the Hadrosaurs and the Iguanodonts were a big thing throughout the Jurassic period. Yeah. The Jurassic was truly the age of dinosaurs. At sea, of course, marine reptiles who were not dinosaurs were pretty important as well. And those were the Plesiosaurs, the Ichthyosaurs, and the Mosasaurs. Yes, the Mosasaurs. Very scary buggers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't see any Mosasaurs out there. For which I am absolutely grateful. They were scary buggers. Yeah. But during the Jurassic period, we also had herbivorous crocodiles. Yes, herbivorous crocodiles. Yeah, something else that's just interesting as hell. Absolutely interesting as hell. Herbivorous crocodiles. Yes. And of course we had the flying reptiles, the pterosaurs, who again were not dinosaurs, but they were flying reptiles. And oh, there's a duck behind me. Dinosaur visited. There's a duck, yes. What do you know? <laughs> yeah, in any case. I'm out here in the rain and the cold and the miserable, and I really want to just go home and have more tea because that's just so much nicer than being out here in the cold and the rain. The Jurassic was the golden age of the dinosaurs, though. It was absolutely the golden age of the sauropods and the allosaurs and the early hadrosaurs. And it was the age that gave us the first true mammals. Absolutely. So we can all thank dinosaurs that we humans exist. Indirectly. Very, very indirectly. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho. I gotta get going. Gotta get home. There's a cup of tea waiting for me. Ta-ta. Have a good one.